Kitchen Bar. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support for the YouTube video that I posted on my new channel. All right, so this is video number two. Today we're going to start with the basics. This is all about the natural look. Foundation, contouring, all sorts of fun stuff. Let us begin. Hey, okay, so we're going to get started with the makeup and how I get the glow after I put the makeup on is because I use the Claudia Riaz primer. And you can use this with a brush, but I just put a dime size in my hand and start at the forehead, all around the eyes, up on the neck, and you can put some on your decollete. But you have to make sure it's deep into the skin, massage it into the face nice and primed for the makeup and this just helps the makeup stay in place for the rest of the day and also to give that glow that you all love okay so once that's massaged and set in we're gonna start sculpting the face because i contour literally every single day and um it takes me five ten minutes okay so concealer under the eye Whatever concealer you use, I'm sure it would be great. But the Claudia Riaz one is absolutely amazing. It just gives a really good full coverage. And so with that same shade, it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. But it just kind of highlights everything I want to be. Um, struck out more in the face. So in the T-zone, I, I want it to be highlighted. And then in the middle of my nose. And then I also like to add the concealer on the outside of my brow to define that a little bit more. And then continuing on to the face. Add a little there. I kind of just like to cover up all the redness with the lighter foundation concealer. Okay, so then I mix the Claudia Riaz Concealer 7 with the concealer on just my face, not in my under eye. But this gives me a little bit of color, so I'm not too pale. <laughs> okay, so this, I don't know if you can see, but this is the highlighting part. Okay, so now I like to use the Angled Brush by Claudia Riaz for the contouring. And this just helps me um, define my cheekbones and make my forehead a little bit smaller, my nose a little bit smaller. This has shocked many of my clients before. I have way too much fun doing this. This angle brush really just helps you get the exact shape you want. But with the blending, that's why I'm like spreading out these lines because it'll help you blend the makeup in. So all the dark spots are to make things less and to structure it. So this is a contour face. So, I use the Claudia Riaz Wet and Dry Brush, and I use this to buff in my um, contoured face. So, you have to kind of press down hard to blend it all in. So, that's the foundation, and then, the Claudia Riaz Instant Face. The cool thing about this, you can customize your colors. So you have your powder, your bronzer, blush, 
and then your powder again. <clears throat> so three swipes, and then I do a three, and I press a little bit harder on the cheekbone for the blush to even everything out. I just follow through with the neck. Cool. <laughs> To highlight my cheekbones a little bit more like I do at nighttime when I'm going out, I'll just use a regular blush brush. And I'll use a highlighter and a little bit of a pinky blush. And just apply it to my upper cheekbone. Just to bring it out a little bit. And I kind of sometimes bring it up to the forehead, not even halfway, just to kind of give it a, some more structure. And just think like the dark colors you want to diminish. Like if you have a double chin like me, <laughs> I put the dark under here so you can bring the chin out a little bit more. So you got a clear jawline. So another thing that I used on the show actually and they showed it that I use Face Set by Claudio Riaz and this sets the makeup in and it lasts for hours and hours for the rest of the night and it gives that glowy look as well. As you can tell I'm a little obsessed with glowy look. <laughs> but you spray it and it's actually like a minty a spearmint smell and yes Chris Souls has definitely used this and he loved it. <laughs> Breathe it in, whatever you want to do. It smells so good and it's really refreshing, but fan it off so you don't get too much of a shine. The cameras don't like the shine. So there you go. We break it down to the basics with your contour face. I did have a question though that I got asked and I did not answer it in the video, but for my mask that I use once or twice a week, I use the black mask um, also with revision. And it's really great just cleaning out the pores and giving you that nice glow in the morning. This is Toby. I wanted you guys to meet him. He loves all the support you guys give me. Hi. All right, guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel down there.